now Saturday and today it's a uh, race day because today is qualifying and one race. Pretty quiet here this morning too. Oh la la, Julian Brichet. Du pilot common chef. Huh? Everything good? Good. The fire extinguisher, is that correct boys? <laughs> there the white bottle was too old. Um, so I borrowed a new one from a different team here who had an extra car because if I'm going to buy a new one it was really expensive but when I come home I can rebuild it and fix it. And what I have to pay for this, I gave away my data so that was not too bad. Thanks a lot to this team. Good? You? Is this, yeah, I'm good. Is this my tires? Perfect. So my brother, how was the quality? Can you tell us how the quality was? Yeah, it's okay. Okay. Did I do a decent job? A decent job of P5. P5? Yeah, that's good, or? Is good enough? Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was a P5. We are happy about it. I start P5 first race now and I start P6 the second one. So if we find more speed, we can fight for a podium in both races. But then we have to find more speed first because we was a little bit too far behind the fastest guys. Hello brothers, how are you guys doing? Bad. Bad? Bad? Why? Because you're in front of us. I like that, eh? No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the target boys. They are they are actually really good, really good. Yeah, but they missed the target. <laughs> yeah, they missed the target today, that's right. <laughs> We're done with lunch, the boys are still in the hospital eating, but now we have a little bit of time, so now I'm gonna go for a really, really nice short sleep. I'm really looking forward for that. <laughs> what? Don't tip me or I will kill you. 100%. I will not tip you, start behind me, I beat you this time. No, tomorrow. Tomorrow, don't worry, eh? Be happy. Be somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> We are now soon ready for race one. I'm nervous like always. Wish me luck, I'm gonna need it. I've done with the first race long time ago. Uh, it was good and bad. The start was really bad. I almost stole the engine. It was something with the cluster was not working out with the turbo pressure. So when the start go out, brr, the car almost stopped for me. So I was P13 off the first corner. From there on, I drove past a lot of guys and I ended P6, who was good. But on the first lap, I had contact with another driver. He was waving to left to right and didn't decide which, which line he wanted to have for three corners and then I pushed him a little bit and he went wide and he lost some position and I got later after the race a 30 second drive through penalty for it so I ended then 13 instead of 6 and no points. So that's what we call a shit day. Actually we all think it's quite funny because at Paul Ricard is here I was pushed really hard from behind in, before the last lap in the first race when I was P5 and I ended I lost four positions. And the guy who did it didn't even get a warning. But us, when we do a small mistake and the driver in front of us is waving everywhere, I get punished super hard like this. That's like a joke. I'm back in the workshop in Germany, but I'm not going to tell you something really funny what happened Sunday morning. Because after the race on Saturday, after I was hitting this driver, I was interviewed by a touring car site on the internet. And I said it how it was. I was behind him, he was waving left to right, could not decide. And I touched him on the braking a little bit, so he went wide, he lost a few positions. And it's how it is. But on Sunday morning, his friend was coming, the friend of this driver who is with him on all the races, I saw him all the races. He's coming into my tent and he said, Hey, if you put shit like that on the internet, like you did yesterday, one more time you get problems. And I said, What shit and what problems? And this is what I said about waving. And I asked him, What problems? You get problems with me, he said. And I said, <laughs> Actually, I started laughing like crazy. 
and I said uh, thanks a lot for the Jake great joke in the morning eh <laughs> and then he got even more pissed and asked him to please leave my tent because you know to threaten people like this and you think you're cool just because you're wearing a t-shirt with way too small for you and ah, it's just stupid it's just like that's a, just a joke you know you don't threaten people like that what do you say big boss speed limit or what <laughs> huh? I think so yeah for sure it was how are my boys doing hello hello that's good we're gonna take the differential out huh? so you guys have something to do yeah, finally something. <laughs> <laughs> finally something. We've been so all week. <laughs> finally, finally something to do, folks. Sorry, we had stress all day. I'm now in the trailer for the VRT guys. Hello. 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 And this is where Elliot brings the girls into the trailer. He put them there. Exactly. Yeah. It's uh, it's quite strong. Can move. It's good. Good place. <laughs> it's huh? Quite strong, actually. <laughs> Here we have the differential. This we're gonna uh, take a look at now. And then I don't mean we're going to look at it from outside, we're going to open it and look inside. Look how it's inside, not outside. Are we ready, boys? We are ready! Almost. Perfect. We are ready for today, yeah, that's correct to say, because now it's 10 past 12. So we actually started the Sunday already. But now we're going to go and sleep. The lakes are shining up this place, eh? <laughs> <laughs> we was the first one to parking place here this morning. And we are the last one to leave. The door is closed. No, no chance to open it. What's this one? Now we have to look for a different way out from this track. Here yeah, we can go out, luckily. I like that this car has this manual adjustable mirrors, eh? <laughs> On the right side, that's really, really good, eh? And it's Sunday. Time for the last day here at Spa. Every time I come to visit you, I find you sleeping. Every yeah. time. I'm tired, man. <laughs> We're now doing the setup for the race. The race is in like one and a half hour. Just done. I ended P5. I had a good start. I was P3 after the first corner. 
But I had used tires now in this race, and other guys, I guess, had new. Yeah, they had new for sure. So I cannot keep up the, I cannot have the same speed as this guy on the first lap. So I lost some position. I dropped down back to eight. But then I got three places for free, I think, because some guys crashed and stuff. So then P5. It's not the best way to get uh, against position with all the guys crashing, but uh, P5, we got some points, no damage on the car. So I think we should be happy with it. The biggest problem now was still that we had all tires on the front and other guys are new, so in the first laps I had no chance. But in the end, the speed was actually pretty good because then the new tires get slower and slower and they get more the same like the old ones, so then we had uh, almost the same speed at the end there, so like the fastest guys. So that was not the worst. And now my boy is going to take some coffee, and then we're going to start pack everything down. How was the quality? Very good. Huh? Magic lap. P1, eh? Fantastic, congrats mate. <laughs> it's going forward. Again, okay, time to pick up the car for pack for me. Behind me here now we have Rouge. It's probably the most famous race track corner in the world. And my friend Fran is out with the BMW now. He's arriving in a few seconds, you're gonna see him passing. Fran is our old friend, we did Eurocup together. It's a guy who I showed you earlier who put the BMW on pool. Now we're gonna see him coming. His GT car is so fast. Fran told me that on the qualifying he had flat out with the BMW there. It's, that's unbelievable. Ciao, playboy! <laughs> uh, uh, car on the trailer, is it? Moin, moin! What's <laughs> All is clapping here! We are closing up! Guys over there, the Mira guys was laughing of me now because I took a shower with this one. I feel it's great. It's nice to go home now when you just took a shower. Marvin, my new mechanic, he's a joker, eh? <laughs> Have a good flight, guys. See you in Budapest, eh? Ciao, mates. Ciao. It's only 300 kilometers exactly to the workshop at Kona Mosburg from here, and I'm really happy about it because. This has been a hard weekend and I'm a little bit tired and it's really nice to not have a really long drive back home now. So this is going to go in three and a half hours and that's absolutely no problem at all. I have now been stopping, bought myself a, a Shoko Shock. Oh, oh la la. <laughs> this is just amazing. It's just before eight o'clock and I'm back at the workshop. This is this is a new record. Never happened before. This is just getting better and better. I have some dinner. I'm gonna reload my car now. Same time, I'm gonna watch the Formula One from Canada. It starts now. <laughs> this is unbelievably great. The car is in the garage, so now we close up. Time to go and send some email to my sponsor and tell them how it went. Uh, what should I write now? Actually, did it go good or did it go bad? Or was it in the middle? No, I'm actually not sure. I think I'm gonna say it was in the middle. So, that was the end for this video log. I'm gonna say thanks for watching. Again, please subscribe to my channel, put a comment, tell me what you think, and more will come. Again, thanks a lot. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.